Welcome to Mallorca! I think I'm noticing is New York Airport is very strange in that you come out in departures, it's the same place. It's weird. I think I think I go through here. I think maybe this is passport control. I am out finally. That seems to take forever to go through passport control and everything. I have rented a car on this trip, so I am gonna figure out where I pick my car from, pick up my car from. I'm on the little transfer bus. I didn't know this was the situation, to be honest. I thought I could just collect the car from the airport. I didn't realize I have to get transferred, but it's a nice little, little mini, mini bus. I assume we're just waiting to see if there's any, anyone else. It's just me at the moment. I'm in my little rental car for the next few days. It's a little Fiat. I've got to say, I am, well, for one, I'm sweating my bum off and I am really, 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 really pretty nervous about <laughs> driving. I don't think I've driven in Spain or abroad since, how long will it be? Six years or so? And I'm very nervous about it, but I'm gonna take it slow and just see. We'll be fine. I'm gonna head to Parma. Let's go. I made it that drive it was actually it wasn't it wasn't too bad at all you've just got to take it slow and it's fine i have just kind of abandoned the car i've just come to the center of parma and just kind of abandoned it found some free street parking there is no way i'm gonna get to do today everything that i wanted to do but i feel like it's better to have loads of things on the list and just miss them off and not really know what you're doing uh, but the first thing i am gonna to head to is um mallorca cathedral First impressions of Parma so far, like it's obviously a bit like city -y, but beautiful and nice and warm as well. The cathedral in Parma is a gothic style temple from the 13th century and it is magnificent. It's in such a beautiful location as well, surrounded by gardens and just right by the sea, it's beautiful. a bit of a break from all that walking around the cathedral and everything oh my goodness they are absolutely amazing and to be honest Parma is beautiful but I've stumbled across the beach I didn't really realize that there was a beach not at least this way anyway I knew there was the other way um but anyway I've stumbled across the beach so I'm just gonna relax here for a little bit and enjoy some sun Late, but you know, I haven't eaten anything all day yet. I'm bloody starving. Uh, <laughs> need to sort that out. But I am heading, I'm about 40 minutes walk away from the car, so I'm gonna walk to the car and then try and find a parking spot a little bit closer to the uh, where I'm staying tonight. That was not an easy task whatsoever. Parking in Palmer. An absolute bloody nightmare. Absolute nightmare. I eventually found a spot. It took me a very long time. Um, I ended up asking this man if I was allowed to park in this space. He said I was. So I've just trusted him and left it. <laughs> it's about, I don't know, half a mile away from the hotel. All checked into the hostel. Really nice. I am just out now. Having a little wander. I'm out a bit early, really. I just want, well, some food and. <laughs> To, I, I grabbed a bag of crisps before, but I'm starving. It's now at what, quarter past seven and I've, all I've had is a bag of crisps. So I'm on the hunt for somewhere where I can grab a drink, some food.
Good morning. It's the next morning. Welcome to my car. Last night just kind of came and went, to be honest. I just had a drink, um, chatted to some people, and then had an early night because I knew I wanted to get up early this morning. It is just after eight. I have left Parma and I have driven the kind of 30 odd minutes to Valdemosa. I'm gonna go and see if things are open for maybe some breakfast. I kind of just, I woke up in the hostel early and then someone's alarm was going off anyway that sort of stopped me from going back to sleep. And then I figured, you know what, I wanna be up and out anyway. So I figured I may as well just, there's a wasp buzzing. It just, I, didn't, I couldn't decide if it was inside the car or outside the car, but it's outside. Uh, yeah, I figured I may as well just leave. So I packed up, got in the car and drove. Valdemosa is at the top of a beautiful, picturesque valley and it is such a charming little village. Valdemosa was a beautiful, beautiful little village. As you can see, I'm back in the car now. I am leaving. I was probably there, actually, I was there about an hour and a half. It was nice being there so early because no one else was really there. It was just a few locals or some people who had been staying in the town that were walking around, so that was nice. I am going to move on now. I'm going to drive. It's about a 15, 16 minute drive to Dea. Uh, and spend a little bit of time there and then I've got one more location for today after there. Yeah. So I left the car about half a mile outside of Dea because I was just driving along and stumbled across some white lines that means it's free parking and I figured I'm going to bag them because I assume there's going to be blue parking in Dea which I discovered in Parma when I was talking to a, a man I was asking about parking and he was explaining that to me. So um, yeah, blue parking means, or like blue lines, means that you've got to pay. White parking means you are free to do whatever, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, I saw some white parking, so I parked up there. And uh, just gonna have a little wander. wander. So I don't think there's particularly much in day in all honesty, but I'm just gonna have a little wander. It's just there. Okay, onwards. Gonna walk back to the car. My next stop is Sola. I think they, uh, it's nice. It's kind of just like a little mountain town. Um, I'm not sure really what there is here. If you've been, let me, I feel like maybe it's like a hiking, cycling type place. I'm not really sure. 
correct me if you know more than me. I have made it to the next stop. That was a heavy drive. Oh my goodness. It was a little bit like the, um, it's a bit noisy on this road. A little bit like the Amalfi Coast we've just come back from. Um, yeah, but we made it. We did it. It was about half an hour or so. We've just arrived at Sola. And well, I parked on the main road here. I just fueled it before I left and it says, um, free parking on the main road in Sola, it's all paid for parking. So, parked here, it's about a 10 minute walk into Sola. I'm sure I'm not saying that right. It's beautiful around here. I didn't realize that this side of Mallorca it's kind of like northwest, it's so like mountainous, it's insane. Beautiful. This is what I've come to Solar for. Well, <laughs> these tram lines. I'm going to take a tram over to Port Solar when I figure out where it is. Oh, whoa. which was adorable, I loved that, that cost 8 euros each way, so I'm going to have to pay 8 euros to get back, which is pretty steep, but um, yeah, that tram ride takes you from Soler town down to the port of Soler, and it's really nice, right here. Oh my goodness, I have my first proper food since getting here yesterday, it's Coco de Trampas, no idea what that is. But I asked him and he says it's a lot better than ours. He must sit on a bench here by the port. It is beautiful. Mm. It's good. Can you hear that bloody drill? It's beautiful apart from that drill. <laughs> There is a beach. I am gonna go and relax on the beach for a little bit in the sun, I think. Cause it's glorious now. Good morning, it's day three in Mallorca and 
Yesterday I had a complete turnaround of what I am doing for the rest of this day. I think that whilst I'm glad I did it, um, I made too big of like this itinerary for coming to Mallorca. I'm only here for four days and everything I was doing, it was kind of just, I think it was too much. My plan was after yesterday to continue going north up to Alcudia, spend some time in the north of the island and then the following day come down to the south and then fly home. It was just, I think it was kind of like stressing me out to be honest and the driving was stressing me out and so I kind of just flipped and thought that instead of doing that, instead of driving up north and putting all this pressure to go and see the whole of the island, like you just can't do it in four days in my opinion. It's, I mean you can but it's just, <laughs> I feel it's too much for me anyway and so I decided after yesterday, I had a lovely day yesterday actually going and visiting the different places, like I really enjoy it, it was just a lot, like I find the driving quite stressful and yeah it was a lot <laughs> and so I decided to just come back to um, Parma, I booked this hotel while well, I stayed here last night and then I got, I think I just got some cream in my mouth, it tastes disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I stayed here last night and I'm staying here again tonight so it's nice just to like have my stuff like I've got a bit of a mess going on over there but I'm just, <laughs> just like dump my stuff and I'm just gonna spend the rest of the time here I'm possibly gonna do I don't know whether I'll go somewhere later on today or tomorrow or anything whether I'll do like a little day trip from um Parma or whether I'll just wander wander around Parma a little bit maybe just go and relax on the beach I'm not sure what I'll do yet but I feel so much better since <laughs> making that decision yesterday because I was getting quite stressed and that's not what this trip, it, like a trip isn't supposed to be stressful is it? So yeah, I'm pleased with the decision. Let me quickly just show you my room. Entrance way is there, a couple of wardrobes, bathroom in there, there's a toilet around there and then like I say it's a bit of a mess because I just kind of dumped all my stuff yesterday but there's two single beds and a balcony out here with a pool and the beach is just about five minutes walk down there it was a bargain as well it was something like 65 pounds or something for the two nights including breakfast which is brilliant i'm just getting ready now i'm gonna just go and have a little wander down the front maybe just go and lie on the beach for a little bit i'm not sure what the weather is doing to be honest, it looks a, bit, a little bit cloudy, but maybe it's still quite early, so maybe the sun will come out in a little bit. This is the hotel from the outside. And then just at the bottom of the road is the beach. Here it is, down on the front. Very nice and quiet, actually. I had a little wander down here last night. I'm gonna find a spot right about there and plonk my bum for a little bit. I am checking out now, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I have just got today left. I don't fly until like 10 to 10 tonight. I was thinking about traveling. I was thinking about driving somewhere for the morning or the afternoon but I've decided to not in the end I'm just feeling a little bit lazy and I'm just gonna go and put my bags and everything in the car oh. and just enjoy my time around here go to, go to the beach like I did yesterday have a little walk around and just just relax just enjoy the weather Down at the beach, relaxing, just walking around, not really doing too much. I'm headed up to the car now to drop that off. It's only, just a look on the map, it's only a nine minute drive to so drop the car off. So that's nice. Oh. This will be fun getting out of here. Also, look at the state of my car. 